Yeah. No, you just you're, the, you're the yeah. fucking. Okay, I'm back from my three hour dinner break. Uh, let's see what's inside of here, shall we? Don't talk to yourself, remember to wear the slater. You gotta wear the slater, so you don't talk to yourself. Otherwise, everyone will come to your apartment. Steal all your boys. Everyone, steal all your boys. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that'd be good. Please, if you do manage to find out where I live, um, just, uh, yeah, feel free to take all of them. We would be doing, uh, both of us a favor. Well, look at that. It's 200 pounds of Trader Joe's Pirate Booty, the corn-based snack. Also, there's Magnarack sliders inside. I have a, uh, Intrusive thought to just want to throw these all in my pool. I could for sure throw these into the pool from my balcony. It would be so easy to just throw this whole box in. I think I have the strength and the, with the box itself, I would have the momentum and mass to do so. I could make that throw. 100%. I could make that throw. Fuck, I want to throw them. Oh, $700. Just like that. $733. And then, uh... Functionally suitcases. Wow, expertly designed. My nation of experts. United States of experts. A stands for expert. I have to put my phone down again. This is too hard to do one hand. Uh, I don't think this came with instructions, so we'll just see how it goes. You scratch it in, you put your scratch it out. Your scratch doesn't fit, so you gotta shake the grunt all about. to do a hokey pokey and turn your scratch it around. It's time to take off the grunt. Maybe. I gotta find out where this guy's hand is. I don't even know right now. That's too tall. I don't have nails anymore, so there's no way to take these guys out of the case. But, uh, yep. Sick. Look at that. No nails. No nails. He's stuck in the case. I guess, yeah, just deploy my whole army in the case on the table. Hi, my name is Tyler Russo, and the twin snakes of uh, uh, compulsive working and clinical depression are once again vying for my soul. I am in tournament prep hell. Uh, this will be a uh, war boss on, what do you call him? Beast boss on Squigasaur? That's what this is going to be. Uh, Impulse buy. Uh, I don't know if it fits into the list yet. I haven't play tested it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna use it because uh, lists are locked. Got squig buggy, squig buggy, squig buggy, uh, scrap chat, and the two drags does. And this guy is gonna be a dock jet because burn bombers aren't aren't cutting it right now. Sorry, friend. So I airbrushed the white on. I really like uh, these little pirate flags. I got them from a bar down the street from me, and I was gonna put them into models to indicate that they've shot this turn. Um, but, uh, I, uh, yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know, I don't know where to get them, though. I guess I could just go to the bar and get a lot of cocktails, or maybe ask if they'll sell them to me. Uh, I just got a shipment in. This is gonna be a future video, but I'll show you now, because they're free models, and I'll give them all the information I can. Uh, these are from Nightmare Miniatures. Uh, they're insanely nice. This guy, so I, I just, like, converted that Squigasaur, uh, because I didn't think he would be here in time. But here is a much smaller, uh, equally beautiful, if not more beautiful, Squigasaur. I, I love this model so much. Uh, it's like a big meatball of Squig. Um, he's a, he's probably closer, honestly, in size to the actual Squigasaur model than uh, the gargantuan one that I made from the uh, Colossal Squig. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna be a second Squigasaur boss, I think, or maybe I'll just like paint him and use him for fantasy. I'm not sure yet. They're, they're really great models though. Here, I'll, I'll open them. Why not? It'll take like a couple seconds. Um, here's the shaman model. I wish the lighting was a little better. Uh, I mean, you'll see when I do an actual video. Very retro feeling, early 90s uh, GW Warhammer Fantasy style miniatures. I think he like makes them all in green stuff still. And then, like, the casting outside of, I think, not being made of lead anymore uh, is, like, pretty similar. 
Uh, these are, look, these are some Chaos Dwarves in here. But yeah, Nightmare Miniatures is the company though. My address isn't even on this, so I can't tox myself. Uh, Nightmare Games. Uh, and then there's a discount code, which I'll try and find that he gave me too, for people who watch the channel. Um, yeah, his, uh, his, his models are insanely cool. Oh yeah, here is the, uh, the other Squigasaur. Uh, I realize I didn't even take a proper video of him yet. Yep, so uh, last time he was probably just the Forge Road model with anything attached. And now it's the same thing, but there's a, a war boss uh, just slapped on there. I tried sculpting him like a Paul Bonner style uh, freebooters hat. I guess that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, I tried doing that. Now I just have to paint all these tonight so we can leave for Vegas tomorrow morning. Easy, right? <sighs> Easy. Uh, it's midnight. Here's where we're at. We've got these bases, which I love this stuff so much. Desert Sand by AK. Um, you just bop it on there and it looks like how it is in the center here. And then I do a little gradient with oh, this paint I just spilled. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, enamel rust wash, which is uh, all over the table. The next step is to spill it all over the table. Yeah, no, that's it. You just blend, I've just knocked it over again. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, take that and blend it out. <laughs> Uh, with a mix of our good friend Thinner, uh, odorless or brain damaging kind. They're both brain damaging. Odor just, uh, doesn't let you know. And then, uh, yeah, you just, like, wash it with a couple thin layers. Basically just, like, dry burst on there. And, uh, I mean, these, these could be better, for sure. But since the vehicle's gonna be taking up most of the space, I think they're fine. And I'll probably do, like, a little light dry burst or something to make them look slightly nicer. That's it for these boys. I mean, these took, like, no time at all. Um, if you watch my Mega Track Scrap Shit painting video, uh, or how to speed paint goth vehicles, I don't know, something like that. Um... I don't know, I don't know the video titles, I just, I make these up and forget about them. For that one, it's about the same formula here, and uh, these guys take probably about, like, 20 minutes each to do. Maybe, yeah, maybe 25. Um, it's, a, it's a really fast horse game for just, like, getting a shit ton of models done. I'm literally painting, like, 800 points worth of dudes in one day. When you're in a time frame like that, like, some shortcuts are absolutely necessary. Here's one that's, like, slightly more time, but not much. And you can barely tell the difference. Like, he's got the brass here, right? There's, like, some better highlighting. And, like, if you were to look at them, like, up close, I think you can tell that this guy's sloppier. And, like, the edges, like, the crease, they're not edges, the opposite of the edges, like, the crevices are all picked out with like that orange enamel wash and look better here than here. I mean, I'll do that later. This is just like, you know, from like over here, like I can barely tell the difference. I'm sure nobody will with the tournament. Uh, they're thinking about screaming their back lines. They're not worried about your edge highlighting. <laughs> That's all I've been doing for the past half hour. Look at all these, look at all these boxes that I've could have unpacked instead of starting another fucking Warhammer army. This is this is why you move to this expensive new apartment so you could just fill with trash like the old one. Great job. Um, unless there's a pool. Uh, airbrushed a fifty-fifty mix of whatever this color is. Uh, dark Vermilion. Cool. Didn't even look at the label before now. Um, ever. And then Warlock Purple to make these uh, OSL highlights. Um, I think I want them to be a little more purple. I'll do that when I do a second highlight layer, uh, which is not gonna be tonight for sure. Uh, we're calling it here. It's time for everybody's favorite part of the Warhammer 40K hobby, uh, drilling holes. It's, that's what we all got in this for, drilling holes. Uh, I ran out of time and we're driving to Vegas. I honestly forget what I have painted at this point. Uh, I know there was like half a squigasaur to do. Uh, I think I got most of the buggies most of the way down yesterday. And uh, I need a pen because everyone and their mom is going to have a bee stanger codex at this event. I don't want to lose mine. Uh, here's the drive to Vegas. Uh, here's Tyler the Creator. I don't know what this is, but it seems now we're able to make a video of. Uh, I started a little too late. There's a tank out there, but it says number 64. And uh, here's a giant ice cream sundae. A bunch of flies and. Yikes. So here's a pro tip. If you're at Eddie World on the way to a Vegas team tournament, you can stop in the uh, the bathroom and play piss games. Uh, I'll show you those in a second. Is, there a is it illegal to fill in a bathroom? I think it might be illegal. Okay, probably. 
You know, if it's... Well, I think if there's, like, a gaming component, like, it's a competition, then maybe right. it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's name's cool. It's cool, yeah. Screaming children are new to hip. Two sure signs of a daytime trip to Eddie World. Okay, here's the piss games. So I don't know if I can keep recording. Yeah, yeah this is what I was referring to. Okay, beautiful. This There's some really high scores in that game. Is there really high? Yeah. I think you could do knights. We could build a knight army today? Yeah, I think you could probably even convert the, um, the Morax, what are they called? Megara? Yeah, the Megara. Yeah, I think you can convert them. I don't think there's anything that specifies in the tournament that can four draw models have to be represented by like the exact four draw. Because like LVO has that and yeah. GMV has that. I don't think they have that. Admech? Yeah. Admech, we can build a whole Admech Admec army. Take a yellow, yeah, take a yellow card and then just swap out my entire army for Admech. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah, Hell, like, I, I think, no, like they're going to suck to assemble them if we buy an Admech army tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we hope. Yeah, I think it's probably the worst one. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest thing, I think the thing that would take the most time is like I didn't do that good of a job cleaning my airbrush earlier. Oh, no. I might have to spend like an it's hour so like finicking in it and like scrubbing it down with a toothbrush or something. You can honestly just buy some rattle cans from a local art store. And none of the biggest hotels you can open the windows. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's why we have to go to the pool. Yeah, yeah. You think that the windows are still checked because I don't want people to kill themselves by jumping off. But they're actually like that. So that people don't spray rattle cans and uh, have proper ventilation. Yeah. They want, they want their uh, uh, customers to suffer. Or what you can do is find someone in Vegas with a printer and print a Warhound Titan, like a gas Warhound Titan. It would take longer to print a Warhound Titan than it would to like buy and paint an entire army. <laughs> that is true. We would need like multiple printers each working you have on to outs <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to reach out to five homies, each one has to do a limb. <laughs> Man, I love it out here. Well, on God, I'm good. Yeah. I would skip playing a practice game. I would not sacrifice sushi. Would you actually? Yeah, we, we could do. We could spin at the sushi restaurant again. I would do that. I would not sacrifice sushi with a this idea, of <laughs> but I would sacrifice a practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also love the idea of doing it for LVO doubles. Yeah, I would do that. Like, yeah, like at LVO. Yeah, like at like oh in my the god. Casino. We should yeah, we should build it only out of models in that like secondhand front line gaming booth. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is so funny. It's <laughs> like show up like bright and early that day and just like poach whatever we can like turn into. Holy shit. That'd be so funny. That's yeah. even funnier. What? So at the LVO doubles event, most of the points that you score is for sportsmanship in the yeah. lore. So what you do is you make the video, you produce it, you show the video to every opponent <laughs> you play. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. this is the canonical lore for her. It's like, hey, we're going to put our clock on. We want you to watch this video. <laughs> Time's on us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're gonna need 20 minutes of game time to watch our video. And you tell us that we deserve best sports by not. I they actually get, love that. Yeah, give them each like an earpod. Is that a laptop? Maybe we'll just make this video insanely long. I was thinking of making this like a short one. Yeah, yeah. There's no like specific documentation plan, but maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just become like a vlogger. I think that's right. Yeah, this is, this is just a podcast recorded on an iPhone. Like, <laughs> check out a video. Miss capturing that trick, pissing oh. off the road. <laughs> They're playing piss games all over the road. Yeah. This is for sure the most fucked up part about Vegas, though. This is uh, just like middle of the road, a uh, little yep. little lump. Yeah. That's probably the only reason the city shouldn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, great city. Otherwise, great town. Oh, it's over here. Use the left lane to turn yeah. left. City cool. destination will be on the left. I found this video like a little while ago of these yeah. guys going to like Baltimore Games Day, uh -huh. like 2005. It's okay. like this insane time capsule of like culture. That'll be us someday. 
someday 16 years from now we'll be the time capsule we'll be grown men in our 40s supposed to the children we are now hi uh this is tyler's hotel bathroom painting reviews the show where we go to hotel bathrooms and review them for painting we're staying at i don't even remember what this hotel is called maybe it says it no i give this bathroom probably like a seven and a half out of ten um it looks a little different on my phone, but lighting in here is like a little off yellow, uh, which is not ideal. You want something that's very like neutral and lighting tone. Um, you don't want any tint, but it's, it's pretty bright and the toilet is close enough to the counter that you can sit right here if the lid down and like easily paint a squigasaur too. While still having a, an electrical outlet close enough to be able to hook up your airbrush compressor and put it on the very, very loud tile floor. Um, there's these towels, which I'm uh, assuming are here specifically for an air compressor in case it gets a little too loud. Um, you can put it below it and muffle the noise from your neighbors. Um, and uh, there's toilet paper. I literally don't remember what this hotel is called. Ben, what's this hotel called? The Palace Station Casino and Resort. Thank you. Did you check out the bathroom yet? What do you think the, is the lighting good? What would you rate it? I haven't checked it out. Okay. Do you want a lighting? Do you want to? Yeah, I'd love one. Do you want to go to a new sushi place or an old sushi place? <laughs> uh, you want to do a new one? Yeah. That sounds fun. Let's go to a new sushi. The lighting is insane. It's really good, right? Yeah. And so you could use like, like one Sit person could sit here. Uh-huh. Like, so this would be like the airbrushing station. Yeah, yeah. And we'll have this come down. Yeah. And then another person could be like, this would be dry brushing or you something. It would be nice if they had two toilets here so you could both. <laughs> <like, laughs> and the door couldn't close. <laughs> yeah. No privacy, but two toilets. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's really good. Yeah. That is, nice. that is, yeah. I think that's why I have to duck a half star. In the rating, there's only one yeah, toilet. The yeah. tub too. The tub is good. If we get a, like a small friend that could sleep here, yeah, um, probably. But the lighting in here, it's like okay tub lighting. I think this would be like good for assembly. But, like if you have a lot of like four drilled recast models, this would be like enough to wash a whole two thousand point recast army at once. Right. Yeah. 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 For for game day, that's gonna be important. <laughs> before we, before we really put important on the conversion table, plan for have to game wash day. All of yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is nice. It is nice. Yeah. It's like, I'm still talking about Warhammer, but it's just like less and less Warhammer, like actual content. <laughs> These videos, the more good. time goes on, it's just me talking about Warhammer. Yeah. Yeah. I think running Warhammer related bits is better than showing Warhammer. I think so too. Like, it's certainly I have more fun talking about Warhammer than I do engaging with it directly. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. All right, I'll, I'll fix on this new sushi place. Yeah. Have you told anyone from your Discord, like from your Discord, that you're gonna be? Oh no, event? that's a good call. I'll do that. In case there's other like teams who are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll post. I'll post. Yeah. yeah. If you guys saw this case, like alone in a hotel lobby, yeah, do you think it's a bomb? <laughs> do you think it's a bomb? Because you, you shake it and there's what if, around inside. What about? What about now? Oh, Does it look like a bomb that's now? That's got half its strength. Yeah. Look at this view, man. Oh, it smells like a bomb. It smells like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I forgot the enamel spilled earlier. We don't clean the outside windows, but that's fine. Well, I'm already spilling that? paint no, everywhere, this is a bad idea. I, would, I wouldn't do that, that's dangerous. No, I would never, but it's nice. Yeah, we should clean it for them. They would appreciate that. <laughs> if we removed the glass paint and cleaned it and put it back, yeah. <laughs> it's the kind of thing hotel staff would appreciate, oh, for sure. Great view of Chick-fil-A. Where? I want to see. That, uh, oh, holy oh, shit, sure. that's a great view. Uh, well, not on this camera, but... Oh, the moon. I get next to the... the oh, there we things. go. Look at that. Some planes and helicopters. Oh, those are all planes. Okay. In line, waiting for the airport. I was like, why is it all white? And then I looked up and then it actually, yeah, it changes color. That's, yeah, that's really happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, why is my camera making that sign white? Time. Where's the moon? It's next to this track. Oh, what the fuck? It's perfect. Holy shit. Look at that. There, this, yeah, there we go. The moon. I bet most viewers haven't seen the moon. Yeah, no, chances are low. Yeah. I was really hoping that plane was going to fly straight into the strata. Oh, no. It looked like it from this angle. <laughs> no. yeah. Wait, are we close to 9 11 right now? 9 12? 9 26? 9 25? What is it? What was your question? What's today's date? Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> 9 11? Okay, I understand. Never mind. Never mind. I'm bored. We're filming stops now. <laughs>
I got enamel tin over fucking everything. This smells so gross. Like, it's over all the non-enamel brushes, too, now. Holy shit. This whole room smells so bad. This is the medicine for a sickly boy. <laughs> I'm a sick boy. Please make me more sick. Thank you. No, that's perfect. You got uh, whiskey on the rocks, and they were delivered separately. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers. And cheers. What'd you guys get? Oh, nice. Got gin and tonic. This is, yeah, this is, this is a good Tyler drink. Uh, small update. Is that better or worse? I don't know. The lighting in here, it's like, it's like too good. There we go. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Now it's, I'm seeing him for the first time, too. Uh, I've been painting in the darkness of the other room. He's like, yeah, this is coming out pretty good. Uh, fair late night hotel painting session. I think I've probably been going for, like, maybe 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Um. Got the corpse paint in there. The gums are nice and red. The teeth are dirty. Now it's gonna do the metal bits on this dude. I'm gonna focus on the war boss for a bit. The horn disappeared. I can't find it in my case. It's not on his head, so I don't know what happened there. That sucks. Um, yeah, it's gonna paint all the metal chains. Let's go. Uh, let's play casino games. I'll bring my squig. Cool. Yeah, maybe. Fuck! I just broke his arm off. God fucking oh. damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> One step forward, well, two arms back. I should hope. I hope it would be funny if my other arm broke off just after I said that. But I hope it doesn't. Like here, I guess. Like not like not all mine. Yeah, some couple cool dudes. Yeah, is there more like terrain types than the ones in that packet? Or? Uh, there's a couple. It's all they're they're colored differently, but mm -hmm. it's all the same structures. The same structure. Oh, I see. Yeah. But they're all painted. Around I wish, God, I wish I had my nicer camera. <laughs> Yeah. It's like not do any of them justice. It's definitely better than the LVO. The LVO that we went to is definitely better than that terrain. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Oh, wait. This took, I don't know, like two hours and some change. I think it's probably been like two, fifteen or so. Maybe two and a half. Uh, and for that amount of time, I'm really happy with them. Uh, yeah, the corpse paint. It's about the same. They had white highlights. Uh, the teeth are a little dirtier. I'm gonna add highlights to them later with an off-white. Uh, chains, just dry brushed, uh, brass scorpion, and then a silver on top. I think they're too bright, but I can fix that with washes. Uh, yeah, the claws, the same thing. Um, but it has a, some brown enamel on it, which I didn't get to do here. Up here, got that brown enamel. Uh, horn, still missing. Uh, the eye was painted with warlock purple and then highlighted with warlock purple and white. Uh, I would have used like some more darker colors, but I don't actually have any on me. Uh, the cigarette is Troll Slayer Orange on a red undercoat. Yeah, that's about it. Just uh, more enamel washes and uh, small highlights. And the base is the same thing I did in the buggies yesterday. This guy's gonna be a good centerpiece. I'm like really glad I got to get him done. This is like this, I feel like all, um, like my whole Warhammer career is just like leading to career with him. <laughs> like, I'm a, like I'm a basketball player. Uh, all the Warhammer I've done, I feel like, has led to this color scheme and, like, specifically this model. Like, I'm, I don't know, it feels, it feels very me, you know? I'm, like, I'm so happy with this army, and uh, I can't wait to, like, play it basically fully painted for the first time. Uh, okay, time to gamble. Another day, another dollar. Uh, what I mean by that is I just spent $40 on electronic roulette, and uh, it's time for bed. It's one, we're getting up at seven for the tournament tomorrow. I have to shower. Ben's brushing his teeth. You can probably hear his electric toothbrush on mic. Uh, and this isn't focusing well, so I don't even know what the point of recording right now is. I don't really care about winning tomorrow. It, doesn't, it really doesn't feel like that kind of event to me. A pretty mixed range of player experience, and uh, there's some real shoe dessert there, so I'm just ready to have a good time. I also, uh, we were there for a long time, so I've had a lot of free whiskey on ice. I think Vegas is very, uh, ironically, very pretty. I thrive in the excessiveness and debauchery, so it's a good, it's a good, it's a good place for me. You're sliding into her DMs. I'm sliding into her, uh, battle film. $375 army transport magnetic case. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it is tournament morning. I slept for uh, two hours. I was ready for nine hours of 40k.
2.3 hours for every two hours of sleep. That feels like a good ratio. No, 3.3. 3.3 hours of Warhammer 40k for every two hours of sleep. Wait, is that right? No, fuck. That was 3.2 hours. Oh, this is embarrassing. 2.3 hours. 4? 3.3 3 hours. That's 2 is 6. I'm not ready. <laughs> myself not knowing how a ticket machine works. Okay. We just put all our money on black and hoped it turned out black. And it did. Do you have any thoughts? Scared money don't make money. That's all. That is financial advice. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm taking or recording. Switch hammer? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Sisters. Interesting. Custodies, Necrons, and Minotaurs. Minotaurs. Oh. Wait, this is the, look at the. Yeah, look. What's the Minotaur list they got? They're the only Minotaurs for it. Yeah, they are. Uh, Chaplain, Decoran, Deathmaster, Sister, Blade Guard, two Redemptors, two Contemptors. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Let's, yeah, let's look at their uh, player ratings. Yeah. Or here, I'll, uh, I can do it on my phone. So 12 gets me to that one. Cool, looks good. Yep, yep. 